the first policy that was put in place concerning Native American communities was to separate children from their families in such a way that's left huge gaps in knowledge of indigenous ways of living. The knowledge that we can pass on through indigenous perspectives and learning is really powerful. That's something that all students deserve and should be able to have access to. And I think the more students can be outside and in a natural learning environment, the more um, successful that they're going to be overall. I'm Kara Bobaroff. And I'm Alan Brower. And we founded the Indigenous Farm Hub. The Indigenous Farm Hub puts Native people back in control of growing their own food and strengthening language and culture in the process. We partner with local schools to bring Native students to our farm so they can learn about sustainable agriculture. Also, they create a connection to the land and help grow food that they can eat during school lunch. We're at the Indigenous Farm Hub in Sandoval County. The students came out today to help pick blue corn and some Anasazi beans. We're actually going to be preparing some of the blue corn for other students who may not have had the chance to come out today. We really do believe that there's not one way to do this. Everyone has their own community and their own context. What's the most important educationally here is to have students tap into that. Agriculture helps bring indigenous language and culture to life in vivid ways. In a classroom, you're sitting at a desk, maybe you're tuning in, but out here, like you're actually doing the work and it's so something that you take away with you as an actual experience. I think it's better to be hands-on, to actually be in person, to actually get the feel of it. It's basically keeping our traditions alive so they don't die out and we can pass it on to the next generations. When I think about land-based learning, it's an integration of the harder sciences with cultural traditions, so that it's not just picking fruit and vegetables, but there really is some learning that's going on there. We want students to grow food and get that onto their plates at school. And being able to like do that with your own hands, there's something deeper in terms of pride that I think has grown from that. The Indigenous Farm Hub has been able to share crops with our staff, our students, so that they feel nourished. The food that we serve them has to be nutritious and healthy for them to be able to thrive and to grow and to be able to have brain food when they're here. Every community has the ability to, you know, return to the land, right? To care for the universe in some way. And I think the more that families, educators, and folks who make those decisions can start to shift that, the better off we're gonna be as a, as a world.